Naturally, you can't expect to keep momentum going episode to episode. The last two were peak anger, and there's nowhere up to go. So now we reset back into the comfortable rhythm of mild grievances until the next big thing happens to send me off the deep end. Let's talk about streamers, specifically new streamers. Specifically, though, what the fuck are you doing, streamers? I hope good streamers appreciate the incredibly mean things I'll be saying throughout this video that you would never want to publicly endorse, but in your head you're like, yeah. Now, based on probability, there's a likely chance that some of you viewer people are in accordance with the charges I'm about to bring up, but don't take that to mean you should quit. Unless you should quit, in which case do. I mean, realistically, tons of you, tons of you, holy shit, so many of you, if you're trying to get popular or simply wasting your own time because of inherent personality flaws of which there is no fixing. But many people have asked me over the year how to be a good streamer, so if you're one of the salvageable ones who just needs some tips, let's start with things you should for sure not be doing. If you just do it for fun and don't care about growing, then obviously most of this doesn't matter. The first is don't, actually the very first thing, which is insane that I have to say this, but nevertheless, don't not have commentary. What do you think you're doing streaming a basic playthrough of a game with nothing to add? Like people are gonna be drawn to your mystery and intrigue. Ooh, the silent type, that's so hot. What kind of person could you possibly be on the other end of that lack of a microphone? I'm getting wet just fantasizing. Why even have a chat bar? Just disable it and let people mutely bask in the magnificence of a blind playthrough of a game you're not good at that has absolutely nothing to offer anybody in the world. But I just want to show off the gameplay. What do you we have exclusive singular access? Are you the actual developer? Nobody's even gonna find you, much less stay and watch your stream over some popular person doing the same thing. I streamed the original Destiny with commentary for three hours back when I had 30 subscribers the night it came out, and not a single person ever joined. Why? Because who gives a shit about me back then? We're showing off the gameplay to nobody. Someone was telling me about her friend who never streamed before in his life, just decided to on a whim, streamed a few random games of Overwatch with no commentary, no title even, and didn't understand why nobody joined. It's because you're a fucking idiot. Do you think people just sit on their computer chairs Futaba style, anxiously awaiting their constant search results to return the most obscure streams they can find? Refresh, 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 come on, find me a stream with zero views, I gotta have it! I'm going on a tangent for a second, but if you're an aggressively small-time YouTuber, can you please stop trying to use that to score points with real-life girls you meet outside of the internet? Or guys, I guess. I mean, a girl streamer with 20 subscribers is still a huge catch to any guy who plays video games, so I'm mostly talking to dudes here. It's so ridiculous to me that guys actually posture to girls like, Hey, I'm a YouTuber. Oh yeah, how many subscribers do you have? Over 200. Like, actually get the fuck out of here. No girl who doesn't regularly watch your channel views that as a positive thing. I have 58,000 subscribers, and even then, girls I meet outside of the internet are like, so what do you do? Find dead bodies in forests and call them the N-word? We're not impressive. We're viewed with scorn outside of the community, and people wonder why I date fans. Anyway, back to streaming. So silent streams are out, unless you're going for a speedrun world record because if you're just trying to show off your mad skills, which is a phrase nobody's used in five years, so fuck me for bringing it back, there's already established people playing better than you. That's how they got popular. So now that you've acquired a microphone and are planning to speak through it, here's some stuff about that. Firstly, it would behoove you to not read out loud every single thing in chat like you're reciting a book report in middle school, pre-read things to yourself, then if you have a response in mind, paraphrase the question or comment out loud in a manner that doesn't put people to sleep, and then answer accordingly. One of my favorite pieces of advice, never underestimate the value of ignoring the hell out of chat. It's truly paradise. Difficult to justify when the chat's running slow, but you should know that people should know that you don't have to talk to them, especially when they're asking stuff you've answered a million times before, or incessantly pestering you with bullshit. I've built myself a reputation of ignoring chat, which makes it all the more special when I do engage with them, and it just keeps the stream audio from being flooded with Q&As for three hours as if I'm a search engine with a game in the background. There are two types of streamer personalities. There's real personality and fake aff personality. You've heard about fake personalities. They get all 24 hour hyped for no reason and maintain an animated energy level that would make Goku jealous. And then when the stream's over, they lean back in their chair, let out a heavy sigh, and cut themselves deep long gashes across multiple sections of their body because they cannot handle being that fucking fake. It is such a giant departure from their natural being that they need to release those endorphins to feel something. Don't be a fake personality. 
I won't lie and say my stream persona is exactly how I am in real life, but that's just because I don't talk to anyone in real life, and YouTube makes me feel like a normal human being that can interact with strangers rather than a little shy boy who speaks in monotone when he orders McDonald's. That said, don't be too real of a personality either. If you go back and watch my original Binding of Isaac series, not Afterbirth, not Rebirth, but the original game, the first series I ever did on my channel three years ago, you will see my real personality, and it's a far cry from what you typically see today. So if you're like me, with a flatlining energy level in real life, you do need to amp that shit up for the audience. Just don't go overboard and act like you're on cocaine to the point where after the stream you need actual cocaine to regain yourself. Some people say less is more in regard to commentary. I say bullshit, motor mouth all the way. As long as you're coming up with interesting or funny things to say the whole time, this is where having a personality helps tremendously because it justifies why the hell you're actually on YouTube or Twitch to begin with. I only stream on YouTube because that's where I started and I don't like change. Twitch is supposedly way better for streaming. I believe it, yet you won't find me there. Although when I did do Twitch for a time and tried to export videos to YouTube, that shit would fail 7 out of 10 times and I'm not on board with that. But if you don't have a good streamer personality, you really just shouldn't be one. That's like a motivational speaker that can't get out of bed in the morning or a pastor that can't read. Don't be ironic. Keep playing video games, but you shouldn't have an audience. I've seen channels where the guy is like, 2k subs somehow, and then all he does is post videos of how he keeps feeling let down by his subscribers because they don't show up in droves to all his streams and they don't donate enough, so he threatens to quit unless they step up their support. Dude, quit. This is not for you. You're a fat-ass neckbeard who wears v-necks because there is no god. You're not entertaining and you don't deserve donations. Get three extra strength ropes and a stool made out of titanium. It's harsh, but I don't care. Berating your subscribers for not donating is the scummiest thing you can do, but I'm sure they'd be extra motivated to donate flowers to your funeral. This is my favorite episode so far. Whatever you do in regard to streaming, do it for you. Don't be a stooge for the masses. Like, you can take their suggestions and do what you think they'd like as long as it's still something you want to do. Despite appearances, you're not a public servant. You get paid, if you get paid, for anything you monetize, regardless of poll answers or community feedback. It's obviously true that more popular videos make more money, but if we're just talking stream donations, people will give to you no matter what if they think you deserve it because people are nice, and you bring joy to them more consistently when it's obvious that you're bringing joy to yourself. If you're out there miserable, People will give you money to see a therapist if they give anything. And video games are not supposed to make you miserable, except Doki Doki Literature Club. That game will fry your soul with your morning eggs and serve it to you for breakfast. But otherwise, be selfish and enjoy yourself. I'm an unconventional streamer. I'm aware. And if you think I have no right to give advice on the subject, congratulations on making it this far into the video anyway. It must be my charm and wit that kept you. Two good streaming qualities, I'd say. But yeah, there's things I don't do that other people do that hurt me a little. Like, I don't give my streams special thumbnails because in my mind, streams are for already subscribers. At least YouTube streams are. I don't reach new people with my streams. I never did. That's why nobody joined my Destiny stream back then. My streams are a show for people who already found me. And to that end, I don't need to entice you with thumbnails. Like, you know me. You know the game or you don't. You'll click or you won't. A square inch piece of shitty digital art isn't gonna change that. A sunburned albino stream's quality doesn't hinge on how talented I am at Google image searching. That's stupid. I don't have a high-tech overlay. I quite like the new one I made, only done one stream with it so far, but it has the relevant information. It has chat, it has a smaller, unobscured game screen, it has the most recent super chatter and the top five of all time, because I want to glorify the shit out of your donations. You're gonna give me insane amounts of money, the least you deserve is a pedestal, though I accidentally refreshed stream label stats about nine months back, so the information isn't entirely accurate and left some top donators completely out in the lurch, which I feel bad about. I even tweeted them to see if there was a solution, because Frankly, I think it's irresponsible that you can completely expunge longtime supporters' stats like that with no way to get them back, and I'm pretty mad at Streamlabs about it and getting madder the more I talk about it. They didn't have a solution, naturally. Horrible design flaw. And YouTube keeps old records of Super Chat transactions, but not by individual. I can't be the only one who cares about longtime stats. You guys should help call Streamlabs' attention to this issue if you know about it and feel the drive to. I already tried. Anyway. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can keep putting game opinions in the comments that annoy you, or streaming slash YouTube gaming ones since we're on the topic. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.